and welcome back to the Learn to Code podcast. Today I'm going to be talking about making three main projects for this year. And after coronavirus hit Mexico, we are still suffering from the economic collapse of the system, and our current government is actually failing pretty badly on taking on on this crisis. So uh, I do hold very little power on the overall happenings of the world. So I just decided that uh, I'm just going to continue as I was going to do uh, anyway. And I'm going to be creating projects for the web now. Um, since I do have some experience uh, around these 11 years working as a database administrator, I thought to myself, well, you know what? Maybe you can just um, learn web development, connect to a database, and use a web page as a front end for that database, and maybe build projects uh, that way. Well, so I do have in my site three main things that I want to achieve before um, starting today to the next year of today, I guess. Uh, and I want to build three different things. The one, the first one will be. Um, an, an, an elementary school management system, which is basically what, this, <laughs> what the title implies. Uh, I am currently working on a preschool as a janitor and as a watchman, and I'm doubling the, the shift right now. So I'm sleeping here. Oh, okay. I'm sleeping here, and at the same time, um, I'm doing my duties as a janitor here. And keeping watch of the school during the night and I do have a lot of free time here after my duties are done of cleaning the place so I decided to focus my learning into Node.js because that's pretty much where most of the work is going to land anyway uh, programming in JavaScript for the Node platform and I was thinking you know what since I already working here on this company um, uh, and making this place a little better by cleaning it and, and etc. And I already um, uh, created their website. In, although it's quite an static website, it's not dynamic with Node.js or anything, uh, I think that I can translate that website into something more dynamic, uh, building with Node.js. And I was thinking, uh, well, you know what? Uh, two main objectives can be achieved on the website. One, uh, besides giving information, will be to allow the parents to make um, their their monthly payments uh, of tuition payments uh, into the uh, school account, maybe, and I can just uh, create a form somewhere, maybe cre uh, allow them to have an account for the parents, so they can just log in and make payments online. Um, and I do know that there, uh, there is a company called Stripe that basically just focus on processing payments for websites. And I was thinking, you know what, maybe I should implement that into the project. That way, the website may not be just this glorified uh, billboard on the internet. I can actually make this website a usable thing to gather money from the parents and keep a record uh, on a database, obviously. Of, of the payments of, of such parents and keep them accounts, etc. Uh, a variation of that one would be, uh, or in addition, or alternatively, I was thinking about uh, creating a grading system for, for the kids here. Uh, since r right now the school is for preschoolers only, uh, and, and basically uh, babies, and, and then uh, um, five year or less kids, uh, yet uh, the school is in the process of moving into elementary school uh, system, so they are going to be teaching uh, elementary school level kids. So th those are required now um, uh, to get grades, because here in Mexico, uh, preschool doesn't require grading, but uh, elementary school does. So my plan is to create this um, grading system, or may I say, well, the grading, the grading system already exists. I'm only going to create a digital platform on the web 
so the parents can see the, um, their grades on, on the website using their login information, obviously, because all the parents are going to have uh, an account for, for to check on their kids' progress, and whatever information uh, is required there. So I was thinking grades, I was thinking uh, payments, uh, and that's basically it, starting with that, um, and maybe uh, starting actually with a little blog for the website to allow the content creators to create articles uh, related to the school and the learning process of the kids, maybe uh, allow them to create articles on the website. And that's pretty much my first project. And a lot of things that I've been learning on lately on Node.js is that uh, there, are a com there are a lot of common things that are pretty much common on every single website on Node.js. For example, authentication. You may like to have a system to authenticate users, to create users, to uh, assign different roles to those users, to allow them to have access and being blocked from certain aspects of the website, and basic authentication and advanced authentication and roles. And that's pretty much uh, one thing, authentication, that you can bring to uh, a lot of different websites. Uh, another thing that I've been learning is how to manage um, exceptions and errors on your software. Not necessarily that your software needs to crash once uh, it encounters an, er an error or a mistake from, from the part of the user. Uh, an error must not necessarily be catastrophic in the sense of, you know what, the app just crashed and it's not available anymore. Uh, more in the venue of, you know what, uh, the system just encountered this uh, this error, maybe from the part of the user, maybe the database is not available at the time for whatever reason, and the software should be intelligent enough to continue go uh, to continue on uh, without the entire system crashing down. More than one time, I've been seeing this uh, professional uh, software and websites uh, being sold in Mexico where um, in less than ideal um, data inputs, uh, the entire application crashes down and not just, for, uh, not just for the current user, but for every single other user on the system. And that's pretty catastrophic enough. So I was thinking about that, building uh, an actual school website, um, something functional, something usable, and I think that that will bring a lot of value to the parents and to the owners of this school. That's my first project. 